The search for the wreckage of a plane crash off the coast continues in Mayport. JSO's dive team is assisting NTSB as they search the waters for two people and the plane after the crash near Little Talbot Island in December. JSO ended the search for the night about 6.30 this evening. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel is live from the Morning Star Maria showing us what our News for Jack's aviation expert is saying about this crash. Since it's been roughly six weeks since the deadly crash happened not far from here, our News for Jack's aviation expert Ed Booth says visibility could be one of the challenges that divers face during this search. JSO's dive team and investigators set up on the dock and searched the waters near Morning Star Marinas Tuesday, looking for possible wreckage in connection to a deadly plane crash off the coast in December. News for Jack's aviation expert Ed Booth did his own search by plane days after the crash. He took this picture from the air where he believes the plane could have landed. It shows the area north of the jetties, the mouth of the St. Johns River, uh, and east of the beach on Little Talbot Island. That is the area where, based on the radar data, I believe the airplane would have hit the water. The pilot, 51-year-old Peter Renzulli, and his 18-year-old son Daniel died during the crash, but their bodies and plane have yet to be recovered. How do you think this crash could have been prevented? Uh, the pilot uh, recognizing his limitations. Uh, he had very little experience in the airplane. Uh, it's been reported this was his first ever flight without an instructor on board. Uh, so the pilot uh, shouldn't have undertaken this flight. Booth says there are several factors divers could face during the search. Currents may have moved it, but I'm confident they can find it. I question why they've waited so long. It's been six weeks. A lot of valuable information has been lost as a result of the delay. Booth hopes the family of the father and son who died in the crash will have closure soon. NTSB is leading this investigation and JSO is assisting. We have reached out to N NTSB for comment about this search, but we are still waiting a response. I've also reached out to the family lawyer of the two passengers who died and I have not heard back yet. Reporting live from Mayport, Corley Peel, Channel 4, the local station.